today I have two grocery shopping trips to share with you and there's a lot of interesting things. So I went to Costco and then I also went to this store that is literally behind my parents' um, home and it's like this, it's, it kind of feels weird talking about it, but it's like a liquidation <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> sounds like, sounds gross, but honestly you can find interesting stuff so I'll show you that stuff scattered throughout the Costco trip so let me show you an interesting shopping um, shopping what let me show you an interesting item that I purchased at Costco today and it was like super discounted okay so here it is this is what I got pumpkin spice this has four packages and out of these basically it's the same ingredients but you have to add different amounts of like oil eggs and butter and things like that so you can make uh, the bread the pumpkin bread you can make the the basically the pancakes you can make the cookies and here you can even make waffles so seriously there's like four different things that you can make out of this and guess how much it was it was 197 so yeah, you can make pumpkin bread choices. <laughs> we actually have some at home. I made it the other day, so I'll show you. Ah! Okay. There it is. It's wrapped up right now, but basically this is it. Half a loaf right now. You want some salt? I give it to me. Oh yeah, it's right here, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. My elbows. My elbows. He's at the height of my elbows. My sweet boy. What's going on, Gabe? It's okay, leave him alone. You eat your food or, be, or else it's gonna get cold. I got a rotisserie chicken at Costco because I knew that making dinner tonight is just not gonna happen. Um, too many chores. So I grabbed a Costco chicken. Uh, good, thing, good, good thing I remembered to get dinner. Otherwise, I'd probably be like scrambling, wondering, uh, do we, are we gonna have what? Oh no, actually I wouldn't be scrambling because I made <laughs> I made some uh, Italian chicken potato soup. It's simple soup. Like really, really simple soup. Hello, hi baby. You're so cute. You wanna see something? Okay. You're so cute. Why aren't you eating your food? Hmm? Why aren't you eating your food? You're so picky. Oh, I don't know what to do. Uh oh. Hello. This is the only way we can record for you to see yourself and for everybody to see you. Uh, Avivi. Uh, no. No. All right. So this is the bag that has the three boxes. I figured, you know what? We're just going to go through it as slowly or as fast as we want. So, but I thought it's like 50 cents, not including the butter and eggs ingredients, which are also cheap. So this is like, this is a steal. I, I, I bought one of these um, maybe two weeks ago and it was $3.97. So this is even half off of that pr sale price. It was crazy. But yeah, I figured three is plenty. <laughs> okay, so in this bag we have some organic Italian pasta. There's three different varieties. I absolutely love this. These packages, it's really cheap. There's six of them and they are $8.99. So if you go to your local Costco, you'll probably find this. Um, yeah, anyways, next up, item up is gonna be strawberry jam. Look how delicious that looks. This is amazing. Um, yeah, Joey loves toast, cream cheese, and jam. And Gabe, on occasion, he'll eat toast, uh, butter and jam so um, I got that then I got some Udi's bread thank goodness not that it makes a huge you know uh, thing in your budget but um, it's a dollar cheaper per loaf right now but like I said in the previous video the savings add up okay um, then I got some pure sea salt I usually use um, Himalayan salt and I use it on like on the sprinkled on eggs and just the small dishes like that but when it comes to like what in the world? No yelling. Joey, just let him play while you eat. Please eat. There is a little taste of Avidi. <laughs> okay, so I usually use this salt, the sea salt, in big meals. Like uh, meatloaf, meatballs, um, rolls, soup, just big stuff. 
what grinding is in plastic. Hey, Avivi, no yelling. So I got two of those just because I ran out once and I was sad that I didn't have a replacement. <laughs> so I got I got half and half. This is probably my coffee and Joe is drinking. <laughs> okay, so onto this liquidation store. <laughs> I got this organic honey graham crackers and they were, where's the sticker? It was a book. So that was cool. No, we're probably not going to be making those s'mores, but we'll, uh, the kids will probably eat it with, um, with milk. Milk. Okay. So here they had Stonyfield yogurt and it's strawberry banana. The other day they had this unbelievable delicious yogurt and it was pear, spinach, and mango. But it literally tasted like peaches. Like seriously, peaches. I had a frozen bag of peaches from Costco that I would put like in a glass of kombucha that you're about to drink. And it would infuse the kombucha with the peachiness, and it was so yummy. So, anyways, I had to. Um, I got this because they didn't have the other one, so I got two of these. They ate. There's. <laughs> nice of you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so there's four of them in a package. So the kids ate two. Um, and anyways, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then they had this interesting, I don't know this brand like at all, but it looks European to me. It's Arla, you're naturally good. And it's just original cream cheese. It was also a dollar and it looked so good. European things just look so good. And anyways, it only has uh, cream, skim milk, salt, and cheese filter. So it's just your original basic cream cheese without crazy um, additives and stabilizers. Also, okay, at Costco I bought some organic sugar because I don't normally just eat sugar with a spoon, but it goes like crazy. I make kombucha on, like, lately it's been on a regular basis. Okay, so let me just quickly um, show you my kombucha stash. So there it is. You can kind of see the baby. Come on, focus. There's like a, a baby scoby growing in there on top. You can kind of see. And the only reason it's not like, sometimes you'll see. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there comes the Joey. Hi, Joey. Hi, Aviv. I know. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna get distracted a little bit, but check out this cute robot. And Joey changed one of his eyeballs. So he's supposed to have those eyes, but now he's a little crazy looking. This is the right eyeball. The blue is the right eyeball. Oops. But can you spin it? Can we see what it looks like? What does it look like, sweetie? Okay, anyways, just turn it on. Where's the motor? Oh no, the motor is missing. Ah. Anyways, I'll show you when he fixes it. You can't fix that? Okay. I can't do it either, buddy. I'm gonna break my teeth before I... We'll do that later. I have to continue. I have to continue. Um, what was I saying about my kombucha? The scoby sometimes is nice and... What was I talking about? I was talking about kombucha. The, uh, sometimes the scooby is like so perfectly like thick and plump and sometimes it's kind of bumpy. The only reason it gets bumpy is from the temperature changes in the house. So I used to make my kombucha in a closet. I would just put it there on the floor and then when I was ready after like, I used to wait two weeks for it to make itself and now I can barely wait seven and at seven days it's perfectly fine so I don't know what's going on. Did I used to drink vinegar and I thought that was yummy. I don't know what's going on seriously. I don't know why before it was 14 days, like two weeks and now it's only seven days and then I have my kombucha. So my scoobies don't look so, they're gonna thicken up. I still have two days to go. Um, but they don't look so perfect thickness all around is because of the temperature. It cools off at night here in the living room and then in the morning you turn on the heater and you know get it all nice and toasty. 
So that's why I bought this humongous bag of sugar is because I go through a lot. Each half a gallon jar needs half a cup, half a cup of sugar, and then the gallon jar needs a whole cup of sugar. Okay, so you can imagine why I would need a whole giant package of sugar. Oh, there you go, baby. There you go. Look at the Habibi. Oh, little Habibi. Hello. Yes. I fixed it. You fixed the robot? Oh, that's this great. Like Look at that robot. Yeah. He's so cute. I know, it's so funny. And Avivia is watching the Can robot. Oh, yes. Oh, what happened? Are you serious? You stuck your finger in the gears? <laughs> Oopsie. Don't get your finger be devoured by the robot. Okay. Hi. How was your chicken? Was, your chi was the chicken okay? Yeah. Was the pickle good? Yeah. No. I'm so glad. No? I didn't like your pickle. Something's happening with Joey. I don't like pickles. You loved pickles before. What happened? Hey, at least one guy likes pickles. Real fermented pickles. Whoa, we didn't even okay, show nothing. our faces yet. Yeah, I did. Oh, well, well I did already. Boo booze? I can only give you this booze. Come on. This booze. Okay. Let's continue on with the stuff in my bag. Ooh. Okay, I still have plenty of grass-fed organic butter, but they had this dairy gold, and I never... And it smells so good. Daniel was like, I love the smell of butter. He's like, this is, this is like breast milk for adults. <laughs> Seriously. It smells like the way that my bosoms smell <laughs> when the baby... <laughs> He doesn't like the smell. It smells like butter, okay? It smells really good and sweet, like. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's continue on before I start talking nonsense. All right, so here I got some halos. Little sweeties. Um, $1.59 for this bag of halos. Halos. Um... Oh, so anyway, that butter was not super cheap. It was two seventy nine. dollars So, uh, butter around here is no cheaper than $3 a pound. So, I kind of just grabbed it because I was curious about the... What kind of butter is this? I mean, seriously, I'm not used to Dairy Gold having this kind of packaging. But it says choice, so whatever. Well, I use butter for everything, so anyway. And then, what else do I have in this bag? Is there anything else in this bag? Oh, delicious. <laughs> just kidding. These are just bones that they had. This is a big package. I'm, I'm guessing it's about, I don't know, five pounds of knuckles for $3.79. This is kind of like, maybe I could buy this cheaper locally, but I don't know where to go to buy this locally. So anyways, I bought these knuckle bones to make some beef broth or bone broth, I should say. <laughs> Danny has been hooked on homemade broth. I make him a bowl once a day at least. He says it feels like it's like healing his gut. So this is very good if you have like a leaky gut syndrome um, where you are like sensitive to certain foods. If you've been not eating so healthy, um, a bone broth will definitely help you head in the right direction of healing. <laughs> Unless you keep eating crap and then you keep damaging your gut all over again. I got these bones. This is normal, my house. This is actually quite, pretty quiet. <laughs> so I got these bones. Anyways, I'm gonna be making broth. Probably even no, not tonight because I still have broth. Okay, next item up. This is something that needs to go in the fridge urgently. But I got some beef. Do you guys remember me shopping at my local health food store? Well, their meat has gotten. <sighs> a little bit more pricey and I just can't afford that kind of meat so uh, even this is kind of expensive but I mean I have to it has to like I mean I have to have meat <laughs> the boys are all begging for it okay I wanted to show you guys it's $5.49 a pound there's two rows that was $23 pretty pricey but one is gonna be a the Russian borscht soup which is made out of beets beef uh, cabbage and those kind of goodies. Oh, Mama, this is the bag. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Joey wants me to help him build. Like, he can't wait for me to get out of the camp. Okay, so I got those. So one will be a roast, one will be um, the soup, which will be two meals that will be kind of stretched. Well, not the roast so much, but yeah. The soup will be definitely stretched. Okay, so here we have... Woo, this is a scary one. I don't want it to pop and leak. And this is a pork loin. Pork. Um, is that a pork loin? Is that what you call it? Pork loin. Boneless. So, I kind of made a few different meals out of this humongous log. And just so you know, before Christmas, they had this awesome sale on this. It was like you buy any package size and it was $8 off. I mean, that was a killer deal. And I had to pay full price, which is not so bad. If you see, it's $1.99 a pound. That is just super cheap. And I just had to do that for my food budget sake. I had to buy some really cheap uh, meat. So out of this, I'm going to make like a, like a stew. It's a potato meat stew. It's also like a Russian dish. Maybe Americans do that too. But it's kind of like a like a meat and potato stew. Oh my gosh, things are getting really loud around here. I'm getting... So, where was I? I just had to send my boys away because it was kind of becoming chaotic here, if it's, as you could tell. Okay, I was talking about this chunk of meat. Uh, I got it because... um. Um, I think that's already on camera. So anyways, I'll be making a few different meals out of this. It's super cheap. It stretches the food budget very, very well. Same with ground beef. I like that stuff too. Because I can make multiple different things like a, like a meatloaf, meatballs, and then what else? Like I can make Italian sauce with some ground beef in there to pour over the meatballs. So oh, yeah, that stuff is like so versatile. Okay, so... In this other store, this is kind of where my camera cut off, I think, but I just looked, so this is not even on the camera anyway. At this other store, this is what I got. There's one bag left. <laughs> okay, I got this chocolate. It was so good. Even though it says baking bar. Seriously, it's just a chocolate bar, people. You don't have to bake with it if you don't want to. It's white chocolate. So good. I just love coconut butter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good. Okay, so they had this um, organic baby spinach. This is so awesome. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make me smoothies with spinach. And then when the spinach is going to look like it well, doesn't have much life left in it, I read this in one of the magazines, is that you just blend it with some coconut water or water. Um, and then pour it into ice cube, into ice cube tray, and then freeze it, and then put pop them into a Ziploc bag, and then you can just store them. Of course, you can't store them too long because they will get freezer burns. But um, you can just pop those in into your smoothie next time you make them, so you don't have to like constantly have fresh spinach on hand. So, anyways, and then I'll also be adding to my scrambled eggs. Did you guys know that spinach is supposedly a lot better and more readily available to your body for absorption? Uh, if you if it um, heats up a little bit, so raw spinach isn't always the best. <laughs> but I'm, I got it not because for the iron or whatever it has most of, just for phytochemicals. I want that greens in my body. So. They also had some really cheap grapes, and they were like 49 cents a pound. I just got a little bit of it so I could add to my smoothie. Or if my beef still likes grapes, hooray! That's fabulous. Um, then there was these, these two salads. I got these two salads. Look at that. This has to be eaten in the next two days. But anyways, this is the Asian salad and it looks so good with those tiny little, whatever they are, wonton noodles and stuff. It comes with a dressing too. So this is awesome. 79 cents. Costco sells this or something very similar and it's like three or four dollars. So yeah. This is a huge savings. I only spent $16 at that store, and that also includes those crazy $3.79 for the, those humongous bones. And what else? Yeah, that's it. Oh, and the $2.79 butter. Everything else was like a dollar or under a dollar. It was crazy. So I got this Asian salad, and then I got this kale salad. This I actually probably will have today with my chicken, so I'll just mix it up, and it looks so good. It has quinoa in it, too. So it's kale, red cabbage, crispy quinoa, almonds, ooh, feta cheese, and avocado herb dressing. So this looks good to me. So this can... This concludes my shopping trip today. That was plenty of things. Now I'll probably take another 15 minutes trying to put all of these goodies away. Somebody, please give me another fridge.
<laughs> okay, everyone, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna nibble on some food because I am starving. I'm very hungry right now. So, um, go ahead, comment below. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys like this haul. Let me know if there's anything interesting that you have never seen before or um, stuff like that. So I'll, I'll chat with you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So did I say that three times? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Bye. Are you going to eat mama's food? I don't mind. I don't mind at all. What you going to do? He's just going to play with it and just, I don't know, spin it around and let it go fly and stick to the wall. Pickle! Abby, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.